Graviton Lance has had maybe the most up and down history of any weapon in the history of the Destiny franchise. From the launch of Destiny 2, it was the epitome of mid, and then in the Warmind expansion just before Forsaken, it became the best gun in the game after one update and dominated PvP so hard that it went uncontested number one for the entirety of that DLC. And then Forsaken came out, special weapons came out of the power slot, shotguns and snipers appeared in the wild, and Graviton was left behind as the TTK shifted ever faster. It's since then been arguably the worst exotic in the game in PvP for almost five years, and finally, with the launch of Season of the Deep, Graviton finally hit the body shop, got some upgrades, and it's looking much, much better. So today, we're going to talk about Graviton Lance, where it sits in the current meta, and why you should definitely be using it if you are a pulse rifle enthusiast. But before we get too deep, make sure you guys take a second, like the video, leave a comment down below, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Helps out massively in the YouTube algorithm, so make sure you do that, and let's get on with the rest of the video. So what all has changed? Well, prior to Witch Queen, we saw the second ever two round burst pulse rifle introduced with the Revision Zero, and it put on full display just how far behind Graviton had fallen. And with the launch of Season of the Deep, Graviton was basically given the same stat package that Revision Zero has. Its rate of fire was adjusted to 300 RPM, the burst delay was adjusted so that's very similar to Revision Zero, and they adjusted the damage ratio between the first and second bullet and the burst so that there's not so much of a difference between the first and second shot, meaning that if you miss the second shot in the burst, you don't lose 90% of your damage anymore. Other than that, everything else about the weapon remained the same. So was this enough to move the needle and make Graviton a viable option in the Crucible? In short, yes, because Revision Zero is itself a viable option in the Crucible, so too is Graviton. Meaning these weapons are going to be compared to each other pretty much no matter what. So what are the differences here? Well, I would argue that Graviton Lands has higher potential lethality in individual duels, while Revision Zero has superior ease of use with better recoil, stability, access to high aim assist perks like under pressure and moving target, as well as the utility of its sniper rifle round the longer that you are able to stay alive. Compare that to Graviton, and what you have is significantly more range, higher based aim assist, you get access to Vorpal Weapon through the Catalyst, and of course, the signature Void Explosions on kills, which do do a lot of damage in PvP, meaning that Graviton does frequently get a lot of cleanup multi-kills, especially in teamfight situations. So, right out the gate, if you're a fan of Revision Zero, you're going to be a big fan of Graviton Lance going forward. The weapon just feels better to use now. Missing Burst isn't nearly as punishing. The damage being closer with the two individual bullets means that missing one shot on the burst isn't nearly as detrimental as it used to be, and overall, you're now actually able to compete in the mid-range, whereas that one second optimal TTK that Graviton has carried for the last four years made it flat out terrible outside of like 40 meter long range territory, which at that point, you were just getting schooled by scout rifles or getting domed by snipers. Graviton very much didn't have a niche to exist in, and much like Revision Zero, it's now an incredible mid-range dueler with all of our other pulse rifles. With the adjustment to the rate of fire, it's probably hitting right around a 0.9 second time to kill, which is great, that's only slightly slower than 140 hand cannons, but with the high base damage, high flinch, and ability to chain kills with the explosions, that time to kill actually feels much better than it is on paper. Now, I think a lot of people are going to look at that 0.93 second time to kill and be very hesitant to pick up Graviton Lance over some of our other Pulse Rifle options. Obviously, No Time to Explain, which has maintained its status as one of the best weapons in the game for a long time now, features a 0.67 optimal time to kill if you can 2-burst. So why would you ever use Graviton over No Time to Explain? Well, the reality is we're not perfect players. We're not always going to be hitting our perfect 2 burst, and the moment you have to use a third burst on an aggressive Pulse Rifle, the time to kill falls off a shelf. And the real big thing is, in high skill lobbies, players who are good at jiggle peeking corners will get into cover before you can get all three shots off from your burst. And that is one of the big differences. A two shot burst versus a three shot burst makes Graviton Lance feel a lot closer to a scout rifle. You can peek shot with this weapon and you're going to get all of your damage off before most players can get into cover, especially when you account for the fact that Destiny has such forgiving hitboxes. That means you're not going to be losing damage, losing your lethality, or losing your ability to hit your optimal time to kill. And onto the fact that Graviton Lance has more range than No Time to Explain, and you can actually sit and outduel No Time to Explain in certain situations. It's really hard to quantify, but if you've used Revision Zero a lot prior and Graviton Lance this season, the weapon doesn't feel like it has a slow time to kill, like what's stated on the stats. 
This weapon outperforms its stats when you use it, and that's something you have to try for yourself to really experience. Add on to the fact that Graviton Lance is a void weapon, and there's a lot of interesting buildcraft opportunities. Obviously, for my hunter mains out there, Gear Falcon's Halberg will give you volatile rounds whenever you want, which gives you even better chances to chain multi-kills with Graviton Lance's cosmology. One thing I'm unclear on buildcrafting wise is if Echo of Expulsion on the Void subclasses interacts with Graviton Lance's cosmology. I don't know if that counts as a weapon explosion or an ability explosion. It might work, I'm not sure. That requires more testing on my end. I run Echo Expulsion regardless on my Peregrine Greaves build, the video you should check out, uh, linked to the top card above. But uh, it might be working with Graviton Lance, I'm just unsure. All in all, these updates have breathed an incredible amount of life into an otherwise trash exotic. Graviton Lance feels snappy, connective, it's got great base stats, and finally it has the lethality to be able to compete in your everyday crucible. I think a lot of people are overreacting right now, claiming it might be you know, one of the best weapons in the game, but if you're a Pulse Rifle enthusiast, if you liked Revision Zero, this is definitely one to pick up. I think right now you're seeing it be used a lot in the first Trials weekend because it's kind of new Toy Syndrome all over again, so we need more data across more weeks to see how good Graviton Lance actually is across the entire meta, but Revision Zero was a niche but popular weapon in previous seasons, and I expect Graviton Lance to be much of the same. In fact, I think it will be a little bit more niche because it does have higher inherent recoil, meaning that it is e harder to use, especially maybe for controller players. As a mouse and keyboard user, it does jump around a little bit. Thankfully, the aim assist can help mitigate a lot of that. One of the definite underrated uses for this weapon is it's a great super killer as a primary weapon. Its high base damage and access to Warple Weapon means that its damage doesn't drop off very much at all when you're killing people out of supers. Especially against players in Well of Radiance, Graviton Lances, especially in pairs, can team shot and kill well users very, very fast. And that's something you gotta be mindful of as both a user of Graviton Lance, and if you're a well user in PvP, you might just get smelted if you don't give that thing the respect it deserves. And of course, if you find Graviton maybe not to be your flavor of tea in PvP, it might be right up your alley in PvE. Obviously, there's a lot of talk right now about whether it's better than Collective Obligation or not as a Void Exotic Pulse Rifle, and honestly, I would say yes. I think Vorpal Weapon, Cosmology, and the other Catalyst perk, I think it's called Turnaround, which can occasionally give you overshields, I think it actually makes it much better than Collective Obligation in a lot of general use cases. Yeah, you can't chain your Void subclass abilities as much, but with access to Volatile Rounds through Grenade Funnel Blows or Gil Falcons on Hunter, you're going to be chaining Volatile quite a lot, and just as a base ad clear weapon, Cosmology does so much work. I mean, even without Volatile Rounds, you're clearing whole rooms, which I think makes it more versatile than Collective Obligation, which really needs those subclass abilities to pop off. But yeah, that's Graviton Lance after its much needed rework. I think this weapon is so much fun. I'm really enjoying it. It's going to be one that I keep in my inventory pretty much no matter what the season, but I'm also a Pulse Rifle enthusiast. Let me know how you guys are feeling about Graviton Lance in the comments down below. Have you used it? Did you use it at all before the update? If so, can you share some of your thoughts down there? We'll be in there responding as always. Make sure you guys take a second, like the video, and subscribe to the channel as well. Also, come check us out on our live streams here on the channel. We've been having a lot of fun recently. We did some Zelda over the weekend. We did day one of the season. We did day one of the dungeon just the other day, which was a lot of fun. And hopefully you guys can swing by, say hi, let me know how you guys are enjoying the videos. Other than that, your support is more than enough for me. We got lots of videos on the way, so make sure you guys stay tuned, and we'll see you soon with another one. You guys have a wonderful afternoon. Later.